wait, what? Like, seriously? $217.85 worth of product. And I only spent out of pocket, so I was super ecstatic. And not only that, but I had another gift card in my wallet. Hi, I'm Rachel Lynn, and I'm on a journey to get out of my student loan debt and lose some weight along the way. And yes, that's right, I kind of went on a little shopping spree. But stay tuned to see just how little I spent. So if getting out of debt or losing weight is something that you are interested in, go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below and join me on this journey. Today is Money Monday, so today is the day of the week where I tell you everything that I spent in the previous week. This keeps me on track and holds me accountable, especially when it comes to spending on gift cards and cash, which is something that does not go through my budgets. So you can catch my budgets on Fridays, and everything that comes through there is on cards, and um, if I take cash out you know, from the bank, that would go through my budget. But as far as um, cash and gift cards, I don't consider those as part of my budget. So those are separate. So Money Monday encompasses things like cards, of course, but I also add in cash and gift cards to help me you know, stay accountable on my spending. What I do not include on Money Mondays is automatic withdrawals or bills that I pay or anything like that. So of course you'll want to check out my budgets for all of those. And of course, Money Monday goes from Saturday to Friday of the previous week. That gives me a couple of days to get it up into YouTube for you. And then it keeps the weekend together, which holds me accountable. So let's get into it because you're probably wondering what in the world did I do? I went on a shopping spree. I don't have a job. I don't. Um, I'm trying to save money. I'm trying to pay off my student loans. And here I am going on a shopping spree. <laughs> But it's not what you think, I promise. So let me start at the beginning. Saturday, August 17th, I spent nothing. Then Sunday, August 18th, I spent $12.49 at Culver's. I got lunch after church and I was going to go and run some errands, but then I ended up not running errands. <laughs> I think I was trying to like put off the shopping that I wanted to do at least one more day. And so I just got lunch and then I went back home. On Monday, August 19th, this is the day of the week that I actually did my my shopping spree. So my 10% bonus from Best Buy from my credit card that I used to purchase my laptop, that 10% bonus came in and I had $100 and then I had a separate $5 to use. Checking the date, I only had until the end of October to use it. So the Best Buy credit card is not exactly one that I would recommend that you get um, just because the the rewards are very limiting. It's just in store and it was, it's just for like a couple of months that it's good. So it's not something that I necessarily recommend, but because I made a huge purchase over a thousand dollars at Best Buy and I was able to get a 10% reward, I kind of felt like, oh, that hundred dollars, that's going to be something that I'm going to need. I knew that there were some purchases that I would like to make. So I decided to go ahead and get this card to use for the rewards credits, but it's not a card that I'm going to use all that often personally, um, because I don't go shopping for things at Best Buy. Like, almost ever. So anyway, by using the card, I was able to get $105 in extra spending. So in total, I spent $2.72 at Best Buy. Here, here's what I actually ended up getting. I got a $47.99 SD card that was on sale for $24.99. I got a $79.99 external hard drive, and I got a $2.53 Dunkin' Donuts drink. I really got the drink because I was actually debating getting it because I was thirsty and I kind of needed a little caffeine boost and I was going to get it and then I was like, no, that's just an impulse buy. I'm not going to get it. Then the guy told me that in order to use the last $5, I have to use it all at once and I was just... Um, less than a dollar away from um, completely using that five dollars otherwise I wouldn't be able to use it at all and I don't know when the next time I will even be at a Best Buy so or or need anything from there so I wanted to go ahead and use it and so since I resisted the coffee drink I ended up getting it anyway and so that two dollars and 72 cents is mostly my Dunkin Donuts coffee drink that I got. Honestly even the SD card is a slightly a splurge because the ones that I've been using are fine it's just the writing 
shooting speed I think is not up to par and that is why this camera will turn off after about 15 minutes of recording. It just kind of like stops and luckily it saves everything but I think it's because the writing speed um, can't keep up and so I got a new SD card which I have not bought a new SD card since 2014. This is kind of a splurge but you know $25 for an almost $50 product is not a bad deal at all. I did put this on my Best Buy credit card but it was $2.72 so I'm not really going to get much credit out of it. Okay so this was just like part one of my shopping spree. After Best Buy, I went over to Sephora. I needed some makeup. I was, I am pretty much out of foundation. Literally doing my makeup today, I took the, the, the thing and I like wiped it on my face in order to get every last drop out of my foundation that I possibly could. And then my powder, I only have like a little bit left and I'm just like trying to use up every little bit that I can. But I did need new foundation and powder. I also needed an eyebrow pencil, but um, I decided to get that at Target because I had a gift card there um, but the powder and foundation I prefer the Sephora brand that I have and I know exactly what color I need because actually the powder that I'm using is a little too light for me because I tried getting CoverGirl and I honestly don't think it lasted near as long as the Sephora powder and the the color was just kind of wrong so um, I've been using it anyway but I wanted my original stuff and I definitely need good makeup for interviews that I will be having um, you know in the future and I've just barely made it by the last couple of interviews with makeup but I didn't want to run out and have nothing so I spent $42.40 on my um, foundation and powder this went on my card and then I also used my Beauty Insider card that I have and I had like 500 points on it. I was able to get the largest gift that you can get uh, and so I opted for a skincare routine. I know that going to Sephora will put me over budget in my spending category but I feel like makeup is a necessity especially looking for a job. I have to look and present myself in the best way possible by um, wearing good makeup and I do kind of regret um, getting this makeup at Sephora just because I thought that I only had a $15 gift card at Target and um, I will get into that when I tell you about what happened at Target. Um, but yeah I wish that I had gotten my foundation and powder at Target instead of Sephora but I do not regret getting the Sephora products because they are the ones that I prefer so I'm not too upset about it. After Sephora I went to Bath and Body Works. It's a gift card that I've had for almost two years and I just haven't used it because I have so many products already. I mean I pretty much exclusively use Bath and Body Works shower products just because I have so much and um uh, and so I haven't really needed any but I decided to go just use up that gift card just because it's been sitting in my wallet and I just kind of I don't know I just <laughs> like I was on a shopping spree really and I kind of felt like it's okay because this is free money and it really I have really not used it for almost two years I think I got it for Christmas like almost two years ago. So I used my $15 gift card and then I put $1.96 on my card personally and I got some shower gel which is rose and ivy it's rose and ivy scented which is smells so good I love rose scented stuff and then I also got a car scent which actually I already had one but now I have like the next one then I went to Target to get an eyebrow pencil and then yes I did actually stop by the dollar spot I was looking at all the teacher stuff and there wasn't really anything that I needed there so I didn't get anything from there I'm really really proud of myself for that I did go to get an eyebrow pencil and I was really really surprised I usually use CoverGirl that's just kind of the brand that I use if it if I don't get something from Sephora but I decided to kind of like shop around see what other brands had um what the prices were and that's when I found e.l.f. this one is $6.99 or $7.99 and this one is two dollars how is it two dollars it's seriously that cheap and like seriously two dollars for an eyebrow pencil <laughs> like I was blown away that I was able to get something so cheap and I think my eyebrows look 
pretty great actually. I don't do anything too fancy with them. I just kind of fill them in because like my hairs are blonde like right here and so I like to like super like white blonde like here. So it looks like I don't have eyebrow hairs but I really do. So I just kind of have to fill in my eyebrows just a little bit. Um, but what I got works just fine and it was only two dollars and so I'm pretty happy with what I got. I also got some deodorant that was um, something that I'm about to run out of currently and so I wanted to get some more before I ran out and and that is like $11 all by itself and then the eyebrow pencil and so I thought that I only had a $15 gift card and I was under a dollar to get to $15 so it was like $14 and something cents I think and I didn't want to keep the gift card for just less than a dollar so I threw in the Cheetos puffs and just kind of like they were there on the shelf by the um, self checkout and ran my card and it was just over $16 and it took the whole thing and I'm like wait what? Turns out my $15 gift card was $25 not just $15 so that's pretty exciting. I don't mind having a gift card that has that much left on it like almost $10 but like to have less than a dollar left on the card I did not want that. Like I literally scanned the card and then threw it in the bag because I mean I almost threw it in the trash. Had there been a trash can I would have thrown it in the trash but I just like scanned it and then like threw it in the bag and when it took the whole thing I was like wait a minute and I picked up the card and I had written on it $25 so that I knew how much it was. I think I was confusing this with a Kroger gift card that I have that is $15 um, but this one was $25 so I was super ecstatic and not only that but I had another gift card in my wallet for Target for $25 so I thought I only had $15. I had $50 to spend at Target. Not that I want to spend that much but like I could have gotten my makeup at Target like spent less overall because it would have been a little bit cheaper at Target than at Sephora um, and then not pay for it at all. So I'm a little disappointed in myself for that but really honestly like I prefer the Sephora makeup that I got anyway so I'm not gonna be too upset. It's okay. <laughs> so in the end I put $16.72 on a gift card at Target. I wrote down my total cost for the day. I kind of figured out what the free products from Sephora would cost. I looked up the products online and then divided it out by the ounces that I got because I mean they're just like tiny 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 amounts and so I divided out the price with the ounces and what that e would equate to and so I was able to get everything. $217.85 worth of product and I only spent out of pocket $47.08. But again, had I known that I had more money to spend at Target, it probably could have been um, closer to $5 spent out of pocket. <sighs> but alas. Moving on to the rest of the week. On Tuesday, August 20th, I spent nothing. On Wednesday, August 21st, I spent $22.42 on gas at Kroger. And then on Thursday, August 22nd and Friday, August 23rd, I spent nothing. I know that probably doing a shopping spree when I am trying to save money and get out of debt and not have a job at the same time is probably not the best idea, but, but I was able to shop a very, very smart and I'm pretty happy with everything that I got and it really didn't cost me all that much and even though I'm going to go over in my spending budget I have not spent in other areas so that really overall I'm still under budget. I don't like to do that. I like to stay under budget in every area but sometimes you have to have a little give and take and that that this is just one of those months. As long as I'm not going over budget in every area overall whatever you want to call it um, I think that is the most important thing. So I would love to know from you what is something that you spent money on this week? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. Also don't forget to like this video and share with somebody else that might be trying to get out of debt as long as hearing about a little mini shopping spree using gift cards doesn't make them want to go spending money. Um, I was able to really keep my costs down but that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye! And by the way, the camera still cut off after so many minutes. So is it the brand? Because my old camera used to do that and this is another Canon, but it's a newer Canon. <sighs> like that's what they told me when I bought this camera. They said that it was the writing speed of my um, SD card and that I needed one, but I, I didn't get one. I'm just kind of used to it going off after so many minutes. But yeah, it went off after about 15 minutes. So <sighs> that really stinks. Any advice that you have on um, my camera cutting off, let me know because I don't know why it does it and it's really annoying. <laughs> okay, see you later.